Scott's garage here. So we're about half an hour into our trip to go get the uh, 1979 Cadillac Eldorado. That's the car I bought and that's the car I'm going to pick up today. So uh, I'll drop a picture of that here and stay tuned for more. So we're uh, just finished our first field stop here and uh, how much was it? $16, so we've gone uh, about an hour and a half. We feel up often in this car because we don't have a very reliable fuel gauge. It kind of has a mind of its own, but we're uh, making good progress and everything's running smoothly. Okay, so we made it. We are here at the uh, Cadillac and I'm just going to pull around and uh, we'll get loaded and my mom's going to take over the camera here and she'll record the uh, loading process. So the car is just in the back of the yard here. Apparently the car has ran, I already went down and looked at it and it has ran fairly recently, I didn't know, but it does still start up and they've been uh, moving it around the yard. We're not gonna start it today because the uh, battery's out of it, but uh, I've got the winch on the dolly I should be able to use. So there she is. Pretty happy with it, I already looked it over, smells good inside and all that stuff that I was a little nervous about. Yeah, we lost a fender off our tow dolly halfway here, so that wasn't cool. So I gotta clip all this off. All I can do to pull it over, so. Oh, it's 
climbing over it. The worst is probably over. Not far off, yeah. There we go. Gotta find that clevis pin where it is. This is a nice spot I was hearing. Okay guys, we got it all loaded here and I'm just going to hand the camera to my mum and she's going to film me driving away. Don't worry, I won't leave her behind. Okay, well we're just ready to head out here and I just happened to spy this Lincoln over here. I did ask if it was for sale, apparently it's not. Although he is going to talk to the owner for me and uh, just double confirm that. He said it belonged to his uncle. Looks like it needs a little love as well, but uh, I'd be into getting one of these old box body Lincolns for sure. This looks like it's a late 80s model, like I think 87 to 89. So we're going to hit the highway now. We had our first bit of carnage here, we're just leaving the driveway at the, where we got the caddy and apparently it had some exhaust work done right before it was parked. So there we go, we're shedding parts already. And there's another piece under the caddy here, but that's all right. I think it's all loose. I think I can just get under there and pull it out. Let's have a look. So yeah, we've actually got a brand new exhaust system, which is great. But unfortunately, it looks like the muffler is blowing apart. Looks like it had a backfire and blew the guts right out of it. So that's what that is. But we got it all out. We're not dragging anything so my dad's riding shotgun so we're off Well again. we're just at a food stop here. Things are going really good. The Lincoln's having no trouble towing the caddy. 
and I figure I'm just fine angle parked here since I got a Lincoln and a Caddy. Just going to hit the road again here, but I uh, wanted to show you guys these tires that I'm dealing with here. A little bit sketchy. Hope I make it. We're going to go really slow and hope for the best. They're just really old. Oh, and they're hand coops. That's not a good sign either. Well, hope I make it. We're going to go slow and hope for the best. Okay, well, we're about halfway home here and everything's doing awesome. The car's running nice and cool. We're making the hills no problem. We're not keeping up with traffic. We're not trying to with those old rod and tires on there. But we are getting there. So we're just here at another fuel stop. Another 15 bucks and now we're good till we get home. Everything's still going smooth. Straps are staying tight. I'm gonna hopefully get some uh, footage from the chase vehicle here soon. So we're just uh, climbing another big hill in the uh, Lincoln here and everything's going good. We're a uh, little ways from home now. Up here we made it here safe and uh, everything went good. No carnage along the way and we got a lot of uh, positive response to the car along the way at gas stations and stuff. Everywhere we stopped people were looking at the car. So we're just going to unstrap and unload it and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, roll the camera while we're pulling it off the dolly. Okay, so we're just going to pull the uh, car off the dolly here. Got the wheels all blocked up, uh, so it should just pull right out, out from under it. 